Okay, y'all, here's Ramon. Yep, he's still on my porch 24 hours later. I'm trying to feed him some water that you see Ramon ain't thinking about that. And I don't want to wet him. If this raccoon jumps out of this bin, y'all are going to start laughing at me because <laughs> um, I will jump off the porch. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to at least he ain't thinking about this water though, but I don't know what to do, but I got these good tongs here. Hi, Ramon. Say hi, YouTube. I mean, he is a lot better. And we're going to speak positivity. He is healing. He is healthy, he's strong. He's going to eat and drink. He will not be dehydrated, malnutrition. He is blessed. Why is he blessed? Because God created him. And because he's in a place where he's safe, where he's sound. I'm just going to keep him here as long as I can. I mean, he's not posing a threat to anybody, but I still think it's distemper. I did give him a towel over him um, yesterday, and he he moved it somehow. Now you see it's under him, um, but you still see the twitching. He's not cold because you see how dense his fur is very, very dense. But we're just going to allow him to rest. I did have some deliveries today. I put up a, a barricade on the um, entranceway to keep people from coming up here because I don't want them messing with him. Um, but this is the status right now. I just speak positively. He's not aggressive. Not at all. Um, but he's at peace here. I'll just leave this water and try to do it again. Um, yesterday I did boil an egg and put the egg in there, but he didn't want to know parts of it. You hear it? Kind of like a growl, funny sound he makes. Father, we just pray and we thank you so much, Father God, for him being safe, for allowing me to find him try to take care of him. Lord, I just thank you that he is not dehydrated or starving, but that you preserve his body in the midst of this twitching. And Lord, I come up against every twitch, every neurological problem that is in his body. And I render it harmless and ineffective against his household, oh God. And I thank you, oh God, that he is healing and that you are taking care of him despite what medical um, diagnosis that he may have. And Lord, I just thank you because you created him. You created him and you created him to live and not to die. And Lord, we just thank you. Although the first Adam, oh God, sinned and that's how death entered this world. But the second Adam, which gives life and gives it more abundantly named Jesus, Oh, Lord, we just thank you. We thank you, oh, God, for your blessing. And, Lord, he can stay here as long as he wants and needs right now. And, Lord, we just thank you. And we bless your holy name. 
And thank you, he's gotten this far, oh God. He's doing much better than he was before, or she. And we just thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He might be hearing some gospel music, <laughs> you know, healing. But this is how we do in this house. Um, he's doing much better because before when I found him, you saw the first video, he was upside down and literally just twitching. And when he was on the grass, he was face planted on that grass and couldn't get back up. But you see his head is moving. It's just amazing how dense the fur is, though. My gosh, he's pretty, though. He reminds me of my cat. Spunkers. All right. Bye, y'all.